Amsterdam Vacation Guide. Amsterdam, also known as the Venice of the North, is a city famous for its coffee shops, canals, houseboats, and historic architecture. The capital of the Netherlands is rich in culture and history, and offers quaint views of its numerous canals. The infamous red light district put the city on the map, and today it's one of the most popular tourist destinations in all of Europe. Amsterdam, the capital of the Netherlands and the largest city in the country, is home to over 800,000 residents. Strolling the streets of Amsterdam is akin to exploring a living museum. Visitors marvel at the 17th century Dutch Baroque architecture. From its picturesque canals and bridges to its historic homes, Amsterdam is truly a fairy tale destination. Here you'll find dozens of beautiful parks, wonderful outdoor cafes, and of course, lots of history. A wealth of canals, museums, and historical sites marks the romantic city of Amsterdam. Top destinations: Van Gogh Museum. Visit a museum honoring one of the greatest and most famous painters of all time, Vincent Van Gogh. He mastered the art of unique brushstrokes and color combinations, making his paintings come alive. Home to the world's largest collection of Vincent Van Gogh's paintings, the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam transports visitors on a fascinating journey through the life of the artist and his contemporaries. As one of Amsterdam's most popular attractions, the Van Gogh Museum draws over a million visitors each year. Discover over 200 paintings, 500 drawings, and more than 750 letters from Van Gogh at your own pace. The museum introduces the complete story, the artist, the context, Van Gogh's personal ambitions, his emotions, the myths that surround him, and his influence right up until this very day. The Van Gogh Museum's collection includes world-famous paintings such as sunflowers, almond blossom, and the potato eaters. Rijks Museum. After exploring the Van Gogh Museum, just a 10-minute stroll to the east will get you to the Rijks Museum. The Rijks Museum is the national museum of the Netherlands dedicated to Dutch arts and history. The completely renovated Rijks Museum tells the story of the Netherlands from the Middle Ages to the 20th century. The museum features an extensive Rembrandt collection, including the famous painting The Night Watch. Besides Rembrandt, there's also a robust collection of other classic Dutch painters like Frans Hals and Johannes Vermeer. The rich cultural history of the Netherlands comes to life with objects such as ship models, sculptures, archaeological finds, clothing, weapons, prints, photos, and more. Over 1 million works of art, craftworks, and historical objects are kept in the collection, so be sure to budget a few hours. Vondel Park. Vondel Park is the largest park in Amsterdam and the most famous park in the Netherlands. This 47 hectares park is filled with wonderful greenery, cycling paths, ponds, open-air theaters, and playgrounds. You can bring your food here and have a picnic by yourself or with your significant other. The park is home to several popular cafe bars, including the picturesque Large Milk House, with its waterside terrace. The 1930s modernist Blue Tea House, which resembles a giant flying saucer, and the popular summertime spot Vundelton, complete with its whimsical beer garden. The Vondel Park hosts many sporting and cultural events throughout the year. From May to September, its famous open-air theater offers a free program of cabaret, theater, live music, and comedy. While every Friday night, the park is the meeting point for Amsterdam institution, the Friday Night Skate. Simply show up with your roller skates and head out into the city as a group. The national holiday on King's Day sees the Vondel Park transformed into a giant open-air children's market, with Amsterdam's youngsters turning out in droves to sell their unwanted toys and clothes, or to busk with musical instruments. Damkring Coffee Shop Damkring has grown to be one of the most famous coffee shops in the city due to its unique decor and atmosphere. The walls are all painted in a textured 1960s psychedelic style, and there are unusual columns holding up the custom ceiling. The tables, bar, and counters are custom-made from polished wood with trippy abstract textures. The management describes the decor as having a combination of Arabic, Bohemian, and Buddha influences. 
Dam Kring Coffee Shop is most well known for its appearance in the movie Ocean's 12. In fact, a famous scene was shot here that featured George Clooney, Matt Damon, and Brad Pitt. Additionally, Dam Kring has long had a reputation for high quality cannabis. The marijuana products are purchased in the back of the shop where they have a special counter and extensive display of the offerings. This shop also has plenty of options for coffees, teas, juices, soft drinks, and snacks if you plan on staying. Anne Frank House For more than two years, Anne Frank and her family lived in hiding within the annex of the building where her father, Otto Frank, had his business. The doorway to the annex was concealed behind a movable bookcase constructed especially for this purpose. The office personnel knew of the hiding place and helped the eight people by supplying them with food and news of the outside world. On the 4th of August, 1944, the hiding place was betrayed. The hidden people were deported to various concentration camps. Only Otto Frank survived the war. Nowadays, the rooms at the Anne Frank house, though empty, still breathe the atmosphere of that period of time. Quotations from the diary, historical documents, photographs, film images, and original objects that belong to those in hiding, and the helpers illustrate the events that took place here. Anne's original diary and other notebooks are on display in the museum. In the multimedia space, visitors can go on a virtual journey through the Anne Frank house, accessing background information about the people in hiding and World War II. If you're keen on visiting Anne Frank house, it is worth taking note that tickets are usually sold out in more than a month, so plan your visit accordingly. Canal Cruises Besides providing a stunning backdrop to the city's historical center, floating down Amsterdam's canals is one of the most memorable ways to discover the city's sights and attractions. Whether you're a first-time or frequent visitor, everything in Amsterdam seems a bit more magical when viewed from a boat. Most canal cruises take around an hour in which you'll explore Amsterdam's UNESCO-protected canal ring and discover plenty of interesting facts about the city along the way. As well as the excellent one-hour options, other types of canal cruises available include practical hop-on, hop-off services, romantic candlelit tours, child-friendly adventures, and intimate guided boat tours for smaller groups. Best Places to Go Shopping the Otherist. Want to buy something unique for someone or just for yourself? Come and visit the shop called The Otherist, where plenty of vintage and one-of-a-kind items you can only find here. Find a conversation starter at this cabinet of curiosities for the modern shopper. Glass and case butterfly specimens are unique statement pieces, while more curious customers may find the perfect gift in a glass eye. Not everything is bizarre. The Otherist also carries jewelry, handbags, and home decor. This is the perfect shop for buying unique Amsterdam memorabilia. Vanilla. Looking to update your wardrobe with some new outfits? Instead of buying typical cookie cutter brands, why not try on a new style with some authentic clothing from Amsterdam? Vanilla is famous for denims and Dutch inspired design of clothes. Whether you're looking for new clothes or just want a piece of Amsterdam to complete your ensemble, it will always be worth it. Visit Vanilla at Van Barlestrat, just a few minutes walk away from the Van Gogh Museum. Antique Centrum Amsterdam Antique Centrum Amsterdam is the largest antique market in the city and one of the few covered markets. Warm in winter, dusty in the summer, this place seems a paradise for all kinds of collectors. Antique furniture, old paintings, used watches, old jewelry, silverware, toys, and more. Additionally, on Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday, private people may rent small tables and trade with their collections. Enjoy this cozy, friendly, and relaxed atmosphere paired with moderate prices for museum-quality pieces. De Kaskamer Any cheese connoisseur worth their wedge buys from the Netherlands, especially Amsterdam. The Netherlands is the second biggest exporter of cheese around the world, next to Germany. So, if you're thinking where to get your cheese in Amsterdam, it should be at De Kaskamer. This characterful Nine Streets fromage shop is the real deal. It's definitely not one of the city's cheesy tourist traps. The store is filled to the ceiling with over 400 types of cheese. Their team consists of passionate and trained cheese specialists who are happy to help you put together a beautiful cheese platter 
or find that one cheese you're looking for. In addition to cheese, the Cascamere sells wine, beer, roasted nuts, salads, tapenadas, and pesto. Make sure to sample some of their incredible homemade cheese fondue. Top Beaches, Zandvoort. With its clean, sandy beaches, trendy beach bars, and family activities, Zandvoort has become one of the Netherlands' most popular beach destinations. Zandvoort wasn't always the popular seaside resort it is today. It originated as a fishing village, whose quaint charm has carried through to modern times. Visitors from all around Europe now flock to Zandvoort during the warmer months for long, lazy days of sunbathing and seaside fun. There are plenty of opportunities to go surfing, stand-up paddleboarding, kite surfing, and other water sports right on the water. While those not in the mood to get wet can bike the coast or hike along the dunes. One of the best parts of going to Zandvoort is hanging out at one of its more than 30 beach clubs. After splashing around in the water, lounge at the colorful Safari Lodge for some live music and yoga, or head to the popular Tyne Akersloo to socialize with the locals. Whatever your mood, there is a beach club to match. Blumendal with more of a party atmosphere than its neighbor, Zandvoort, Blumendal is a great place to dip your toes in the North Sea or hit a dance floor once the sun goes down. Blumendal's lively atmosphere and beachy vibes make it a hot spot for young locals and tourists looking to let loose. Just a stone's throw from Amsterdam is the perfect spot to go when the weather is just too good to waste. Characterized by its selection of cool beach bars and clubs, including Roger and the hippie hangout Woodstock 69, Blumendal has regular live bands and DJs creating open-air parties that go on well into the night. For the more adventurous, there's an area for nude sunbathing that can be found further north up the shore. Between the regular town and the sea and sand, you can enjoy the wild dune landscape, the perfect place for a romantic stroll. Just because Blumendal is geared towards the party-loving people doesn't mean there's nothing to do for sports lovers, low-key travelers, and nature enthusiasts. Visit Thysis Hof, a wild garden founded in 1925, to check out hundreds of species of native plants, or go on a bike tour of Blumendal to see sights and learn a bit of history. Imoy Den Northwest of Amsterdam, the beach at Imoyden is a fantastic spot for sports and nature lovers. While enjoying the breeze and the good weather, sit back and watch the massive cruise ships and commercial boats pass by, and then get in the water yourself. From surfing to sailing or even land yachting and fishing, there are loads of professional teachers and rental companies to get you going, regardless of your skill level. Beginners and experts are welcome in Imoyden. Visit the Fortiland Imoyden to learn a little World War II history, or head to the Imoyden Zien Haven Museum to hear the story of Imoyden and the surrounding area. Stop in Imoyden for top notch food and drinks opposite the impressive sea locks. Taste the flavors of the sea. Fresh seafood is a staple in this little village, after all. At restaurants such as Zilt an Zee or the popular beach club Timbuktu, a favorite of the locals. For some adventurous foodies, Hawkeye Kitchen serves up delicious Japanese grilled fish and sushi dishes. You'll find it among the warehouses at Imoyden Harbor, with fresh fish and carefully selected rice, nori, and shoyu coming together at the chef's table. The best hotels to stay Pulitzer Amsterdam Discover quintessential Dutch elegance set within 25 restored 17th and 18th century houses. Pulitzer Amsterdam offers historical discovery dating back to the Golden Age. This hotel offers intimate guest rooms, tranquil inner gardens, multiple meeting and event spaces, a garden cafe, an award-winning bar and a restaurant serving simple yet beautifully crafted dishes. Pulitzer Amsterdam is a unique blend of traditional Dutch craftsmanship and modern design nestled amongst the city's most iconic canals. The rooms and suites at Pulitzer Amsterdam are individually inspired by the history and design of its canal houses. Each bedroom and suite is unique, reflecting the house in which they are located. Every corner of the hotel is carefully designed to ensure your luxurious bedroom feels like a warm and inviting home away from home. Recharge while enjoying views of the tranquil gardens or unwind on the outside terrace, 
surrounded by the historical canal houses, a hidden gem in the heart of the Pulitzer. Whether a guest to the city or a local, Pulitzer Garden is the perfect place to take a moment to relax. For a casual breakfast, morning coffee, a great glass of wine, or a beautiful plate of pasta, Pulitzer Garden is a secret you can't help but share. Visit the Pulitzer's Bar and discover a timeless classic. Conversations flows over beautiful glassware and sparkling candlelight. Behind the bar, our bartenders mix new connections and time-honored classic cocktails. Before you enjoy your first sip, take in the surroundings. Dark woods and textured brass, the Art Deco style bar, statement lighting all set to the glittering backdrop of the canal. The Hoxton Amsterdam, rich in history, full of local buzz. The Hoxton Amsterdam is the place to sleep, eat, and drink on Herengrat Canal. Located on the 9th streets, you've got some of the city's best restaurants and stores within minutes of the hotel. The 9th streets are home to some of the city's hidden gems. Homegrown brands, specialty cafes, and gourmet restaurants fill the streets, making the canal-lined areas one of the most exciting places to hang out in in Amsterdam. Once the mayor is home, the Hoxton's rooms are filled with period features and have incredible canal views. Every room is unique, embracing the quirks and history of the old canal houses. Some have carefully restored monumental ceilings, and others are attic rooms nestled under original beams. Brass chandeliers, bespoke hexagonal mirrors, and classic timber herringbone flooring are a nod to the building's history as the mayor's home. Meanwhile, Lottie's is a neighborhood restaurant serving brasserie-style dishes, strong lattes, and even stronger cocktails. Whatever the weather, Lottie's at the Hoxton Amsterdam ticks all the boxes. Boozy cocktails, a delicious menu, and comfy vintage lounge chairs. And when the sun comes out, the roof comes off. Conservatorium Hotel Adjacent to the cultural epicenter that is the city's museum quarter, this regal hotel has countless stories to tell. As its architecture and design present the perfect blend of past and present, it is truly no wonder the Conservatorium Hotel has consistently been crowned as the Netherlands' number one luxury hotel. Adjacent to some of Amsterdam's major cultural hotspots, the Conservatorium Hotel began as a former bank and soon after, a music school. Now it's considered the living room of Amsterdam and a beloved landmark in the city. The conservatorium location means Amsterdam's treasures aren't across town. They're across the street. In fact, the city's crown jewels, the Concert Gebouw, Rijksmuseum, Vondelpark, and Amsterdam's most indulgent shopping are literally at your doorstep. Contemporary design, Dutch influence, and relaxed luxury underpin its guest rooms and suites. Dutch living is emphasized in each one of the rooms, as the latest technology is met with contemporary design features. The result is a remarkable level of comfort and a luxury hotel experience that is truly unique. Carefully situated in the cultural heart of the city, the Conservatorium Hotel has become a destination for more than a good night's rest. From selecting the finest heat of beef, crafting the perfect omelette, or simply composing a memorable cocktail, the hotel is an expert when it comes to dining. Ask the locals where to go for the best Amsterdam has to offer for food and drink, and they'll point you towards the conservatorium. Best time to visit. The best time to visit Amsterdam is between April and May or September and November, right before or directly after the summertime high tourist season. You'll enjoy fewer tourists and mild temperatures, plus you'll experience Amsterdam at its laid back best. But if it's a deal you're after, and you don't mind temperatures in the 30 to 40 degree range, you should plan a winter vacation. You'll find lower hotel rates and smaller crowds at the city's top sites. No matter what time of the year you plan to visit, you'll find the city offers an exciting social calendar because it hosts more than 300 festivals every year. That sums up our travel guide for your next adventure in the city of Amsterdam. If you enjoyed the video and you want to watch more videos like this, show your support by hitting those like and subscribe buttons below. Also, feel free to leave a comment if you have any recommendations for future videos. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and stay tuned for more soon.